cousins. Even Marty, the degenerate, who's an alcoholic by 12. Uncle Donald, he hands me this shiny wee box. He's going on and on. Open it, boy, open it. You'll love the surprise. Thing is, I already know that it's a major Howl action figure. I was a nosy bastard. So, I open it up. I look right at my uncle and act surprised. He sees right through me. <laughs> right? Out of nowhere, Uncle Donnie grabs Major Howells and he kicks him out the goddamn door! Oh, shit! Broom goes dead quiet. Uncle Donnie just trucks. You've got to surprise the boy on his birthday. <laughs> Was there a point to your story? Surprises. They fill me with dread and anxiety. Getting Booby out there, team. Might want to buckle in. What the hell? I scratched that. Strap your shoots on. I ain't stopping on the island, but this storm might have a off to a promising start, eh? Oh, shit! Anyone copy? Damn it. A signal beacon. Could be the others. Should get to the source ASAP. Far shot better than being locked in my cell. Soldier? Lieutenant Kaliso, reporting for duty. Sir. You good? Huh. Bit banged up, but I'll survive. Any sign of the outsider? Negative. Kid, you out there? Be united at last. You made it. No thanks to you, Cog. Goddamn maniac kicking me out of a burning plane. Well, outsider? Seems like I should get a thank you, see as you advise. You're assuming I want to be alive. <laughs> <clears throat> the team's back together. Now what? You all follow the beacon, right? Let's find a way up to it. Ah, 
of a ways down, huh? You got a problem with heights? <laughs> After what we've been through, can you blame me? This way, through here. So, either of you know our destination before we left? They didn't tell me shit. All I know is there was ocean beneath us a long time. Another reason to find that radio ASAP. Well, that is one fucked up, Flynn. There's no way that radio is operational. We need to eliminate it as an option before we move on to another plan. Come on! Grandmother left the Galangi Islands when she was young. But the photos are from this place. Hell of a way to reconnect with your roots. Something about luck, boy? Hey, we're safe, right? Look, some more supplies. I told you, lucky. What the fuck? A block! Huh, I stand corrected. How the hell did the swarm get to an island? Sign of the times, old man. The entire world is infected with them. Keep pushing through. Gotta get out of this swamp. There's a passage through here. Ran into it too. <coughs> we gotta get out of here. First that gas, now this smoke. <coughs> out to the frying pan. This looks like the tail end. Plenty luck. Cockpit and radio is up ahead. Hey, lucky. Remember? That's my... Oh. 
cockpit should be through this door. Let's get it open. Ah, oh, damn it. Guess the radio's not here. The entire cockpit ain't here, Gramps. So what's the plan if we find that precious radio smashed to pieces? There's a good chance that whoever organized this operation is well aware of what's happened. Might take a while. They'll send someone. And they died in the crash as well. How are your survival skills? Terrible. Delivery driver. Remember? I don't believe it. Radio function. There's a transponder strike. Think I've got it? Ow. Hey, you still there? Why, well, you made it. This is Zach. I'm here to get you. Got a location? On it. Why do we get the feeling that TAC isn't the only one we signal? Juvie's incoming! Looks like we're gonna have to earn that right move. Here they come! Far away from this nightmare. Here's the results. Right. Sorry to be late and all. We survived a horrific condor crash, fought an endless horde of monsters from hell, and barely escaped with our lives. But uh, how's your day been? Well, it's about goddamn time. Holy shit. What? Show some respect. It's Colonel Victor Hoffman. It's an honor, sir. A real hell of an honor. Shared sentiment, soldier? That's why you're here. Best of the best. This here's Hannah Colt. She's my number one on this covert operation. She knows a lot about science things and uh, is, uh, well, in, in general, quite pleasant to be around. Advanced degrees in biochemistry, toxicology, chemistry, and science things. Thanks, Hoff. Anyway, good to finally meet you. What kind of operation is this? Hannah? Now, what we're looking at is a schematic of the Pahanu Cog Bunker, designation Sanctum. It never served its true purpose, instead becoming a burial site at the end of the Locust War. And now, well, it's a full-blown swarm hive. I need you to infiltrate and plant a chemical bomb at its heart so we can kill them from the inside out. It's a high-risk mission. 
But if we get this right, we can wipe out those bastards and use what we've learned to save the entire goddamn planet. Now, I've made promises to the COG. And through my people on the mainland, I've made promises to you. Complete the objective, and I will deliver. Questions? Whatever the mission, sir, we're in. What? He's the hell out of retirement. <laughs> well then, what are we waiting for? All right, team. You'll be infiltrating the base from its main entrance. All of our recon efforts indicate it remains fully powered by the thermal reactor. Once inside, you'll need to access the bottom floor. It's 20 levels down, but the elevator system will ease the burden. What kind of recon operation did you run? We sent a few teams of DBs, but lost contact. Truth is, we needed somebody with access. Keegan, you're up. I'm on. Commissioning sequence initiated by Special Operations Officer Corporal Jeremiah Keegan. Welcome to Sanctum. Wait. Corporal? I outrank you? Yeah. Long story. Alright guys, now that we have access to Sanctum, I'm officially initiating our operations. Control has assigned your team designation as Scorpio. Copy that, Hannah. Scorpio moving in. Survived. Still need to follow protocol. Protocol, my ass. <laughs> Decontamination complete. Proceed to the briefing room for further instruction. This is my kind of sanctuary. It's engineered as a system. It's an order to it. The real confidence. This is where new arrivals would have been processed. After proper clearance, of course. I should be able to get the system online. Just need a second here. That should do it. Activating Sanctum Core Systems. Stand by. So, what happened to you? The volcano powering the thermal generators? <clears throat> Ended up being too unstable. Old place was deemed uninhabitable. So after the war, they turned it into a locust burial site. Warning: biological threat detected. The hell! Something's trying to get through. Defensive positions. Reject. Looks like we found your robots, Hannah. I'm not covered in swarm shit! Damn it! We sent DBs into the ventilation system, man! Never heard that. Clear! Swarm infected DBs. There's no end to the cog's shite to clean up. Welcome to my life, kid. Buried in volcanic rock. Never said I did. Ain't no. What the hell was that? Just seismic activity from the volcano. Oh, is it, is it just the volcano? That's another brilliant cog idea, isn't it? Throw the last of humanity into a fucking volcano. Anyway, the elevators are on the far side of the main hub. What's back here? Let's find out. Like the infestation has affected the elements. Oh, is this weak gas bomb going to do the job? Yes. Yes, of course. As long as you deliver the bomb to the center of the hive, it should work. Should work? 
Enough. Let's get down there. more levels to go. What's our best route, Hannah? Find the stairs. Oh, and avoid the elevator. Out of range. Wonderful. Let's get moving. Through here. to the thermal control room. There should be another access console somewhere. The console looks offline, but I'll give it a try. No good. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Can we please take this seriously? I'll take a look. So I was thinking, why don't we just drop the bomb down the shaft? Looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Absolutely not. You heard, Hannah. We deploy the payload to the center of the hive. That's the mission. Access granted. Opening maintenance wing. Didn't we want thermal control? Huh. Sorry. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> Subsection 28C. Potential heating hazard detected. Venting subsection 28C. What's that mean? Jubies! Psychem, you've got your priorities all wrong! <laughs>
ventilation station now within safe operating temperature. Proceed. Shit! That's done! It's protecting the Scion! If the swarm doesn't kill us, the climate control will! Back it up, kid! This is getting out of hand! Fuck! But you, maybe. Don't know what they were thinking sending an outsider down here. You two are you up till we get out of this fucking place! Flock! Goddamn army. I am sick of your complaint. There's a door ahead, and we're going through it. made it out of that one, and it's only going to get worse. We all know it. We are going to die down here. For what? You're afraid of dying? You should have thought of that before you took this on. Oh, believe me, I'm ready to die. But I want to count. You got some sort of death wish. Not a death wish, Lonnie. But when the dust settles, I want to have made a goddamn difference. By fucking inch, if that's what it takes. We all took this mission to make a difference. And we have our orders, outsider. Now, let's make it count. Look, old man. All I know is I want our sacrifice to matter. Take a look around. We have to face the facts. The way things are going. This will all be for nothing. So, Lonnie, we almost there. Not even close. Uh, we made it this far. We'll find another way down. <laughs> Goddamn cog. Just can't admit defeat, can ya? I'm done taking shit from you, boy. <laughs> to hell with the objective. The hell you doing? Making it count. Brother.
decision. Uh, well, I think we can all agree the mission was a failure. Not if we uncovered new data. Anything? The drones, Juvies, roasted them. Heavier swarm. We didn't have the punch we needed. You got anything stronger? Mm. Something that can sink the entire island, maybe. Or how about a few canisters of that nightmare acid that killed all them bastards on the beach, eh? Damn. You might be onto something. I was joking. Even if that could work, there's a problem. We don't know what's responsible for the attack or where to find it. Why, Leahy? 
My gran used to tell me stories about her people. How the young men and women would travel the ocean to face a god. It was their rite of passage. If anyone knows something about what we saw on the beach, it's my grandmother's people. Well, go then. Make contact. See what you can learn. Anna, you prep for field work. I want you there to ask the right questions. I'm on it. Let's go, Scorpio. I was set from New Hope. Hopefully someone here can fill us in on what exactly that acid is and how to get it. We still have to find a better way to the heart of the hive. Yep. I'm working on a solution for that too. Is there another objective I'm not aware of? Just taking in the sight, sister. That's how we do things here with Team Scorpio. Oh, right. Village is this way. Get the door. Even with all the stories and memories she shared, Grad never told me why she left. Any of your family still live here? Distant relatives, I'm sure. Guess I should introduce myself. Feels like an odd way to reconnect, you know? Marching in, middle of the night. Oh, I'm sure we'll be given a warm welcome. Not every day a band of armed soldiers wanders into town. Well, hopefully they'll be understanding given our rather dire circumstances. Sounds like quite a party. Everyone must be gathered in that hole over there. Couldn't think of a better way to make our entrance. Come on, then. Hello? Should we just be parting in like that? Relax. Lonnie's basically family here. So, Hannah, didn't mean to ask. You in a relation to the coal trade? Right. Because every coal is related to Augustus. Sorry. Was just curious is all. <laughs> Get the sense you hear that question more than you'd like to. No, it's okay. I like my dad. I mean... Yes. He's my dad. Just please, please don't ask me about Thrashball. I find it tedious. Augustus Coal. I know I saw him play, but that ain't what I remember him for. Man to legend. The true definition of the cog frontline hero. Yeah, you aren't wrong, Keegan. That's what everyone sees in my father. I wanted to be just like him. A lot of people find it hard to believe, but at home, the coal train is a quiet man. 
His introspection about the war kept me far from the military. He wanted more from me. That's what I fought for, baby. Dad said, one serum and education could do more to turn the tide of war than a single grunt with a gun ever could. You mentioned your degrees back when we first met. That's, uh, that's a lot to know for a kid. <laughs> yeah. Mom was always buying me books. Books for my birthday, books for special holidays. Had books out my ass. Interesting. No, oh, I loved it. I think it was a distraction to keep me away from what my dad was interested in. War? Sports. And I still don't want to talk about thrash ball. How'd you meet Hoffman? Through Dad. Hoffman had the idea for this special project after what happened at New Hope. He got his hands on the New Hope toxin, but needed a specialist to do anything with it. And so, here I am, working on a plan to save the world. You know, Hoffman's been working on this plan for a long time. But when I first got here, he mostly rolled around in his wheelchair yelling out the window. He really hate the First Minister. Let's hope there's someone in here willing to help. Well, that all depends on how long their party's been going on. Sounds like we're missing out. Let's get in there. <clears throat> oh no! Everyone's... gone. Like this ain't a diplomatic mission anymore. Can someone turn off that damn radio? Hey, Lonnie, take a look at this. All this imagery around a creature of some kind. Can you read the language? It's been a long time since Gran taught me why Lehan. But I can try. This scroll references the Awakening. It's the rite of passage she talked about. Listen. The mantle. A terror stalks and desires to consume. Let it be your burden. Let it not feed. The journey. Our ancestors carry you across the world. Their spirits guide and watch over you. Spirit walk. Enter the Fade and journey amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. Fear. Awaken. Reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden, transformed. Light as the feather. Face the creature. Ha! Huh. Looks like a big fucking bird. A bird? Feathers. Huh? Gran would tell me stories about the Wakatu. A flying demon that all children must face as a rite of passage. Are you suggesting that thing at the beach? Yes. The Wakatu isn't mythology. It's real. That's it. We track this Wakatu down and get a sample of its poison. Hey, after we figure out what's going on here. We'll find the villagers. Come on, Scorpio.
through here. Let's get this door open. Damn, snipers. Shit. What the hell did those bastards get here? How are we gonna handle this? If we kill the swarm, every last one of them. I want to believe they're okay, that we can still help. Come on. Look, in the tree. They collected feathers from the Wakatu and brought them here. No pods, though. No bodies. Feathers. It seems to have some kind of psychological effect. Makes you hear stuff, right? Stuff you'd rather not think about. Yeah. yeah. But this incense, it's negating the toxic effects. We saw the same incense in the ritual room, back on Pahanu when we first landed. This proves that we can find the Wakatu. They could be further into the village. Help me out here. Save them. So, what the hell are we going to do about it? Make the fuckers pay! Now we're on the same Could do a lot of damage with this thing, if it had power. Mac, can you help out? On it, Keegan.
Just a bit further. I'm right behind you. on their entire species. I still don't understand how they got here from Pahanu. Looks like we found an answer, Hannah. The lava tubes. This is how they got here. Lava tubes? Then maybe they're connecting the islands. Hannah, above you! I can't handle. them, potted them, changed them. They wanted to change me too, Keegan. It's okay. You're safe now. Keegan, we got a signal tack. On it. Scorpio, I'm seeing a flare on Mahanu. How the hell did you get off of Wailehi? Long story. That is hurt. We need a stretcher. Copy that. Hang tight. On my way. Where... <coughs> Where are we? All the way back on Pahanu. The heart of the hive. Oh, wow. We got swarm coming! Hannah, stay low! the 
are clear. Hey, Anna, you all right? There are people who survive being snatched. Yeah. yeah. The stories are true, huh? Still there, Scorpio? Stretcher incoming. Sorry, I got caught. Mess us all up. She's on, tank. Take her up. Hey, you made it out. That's all that matters. It'll take me a bit to secure the stretcher. You guys good for a few? We'll manage. Thank goodness. Honestly, I can't believe she survived. But she did survive. What's on your mind? The snatcher was taking Hara to the heart of the hive. And we need a more efficient way to get there. <laughs> oh, no. You're not suggesting we let them capture us. Hold that thought! Swarm's here! Katsu made quick work of the swarm. I feel good about Hannah's toxin plan. If we can manage to catch that thing. I'm not sure we can do it alone. Agreed. Now's the time to ask Hoffman to bring in some reinforcements. <sighs> Keegan, this is not a cog mission. What? What the hell are you talking about? Hoffman from the road. It's just us. Hoffman is a decorated cog veteran. I but just think for a second. The access codes to Sanctum. If Hoffman's working with the cog, why couldn't he just get those codes himself? That's... Oh, that's ridiculous. You really think Hoffman's gone rogue? Can't be true. There's no way. You think I join a cog mission? Outsider, remember? Look, we all know that man is used to doing whatever it takes to get the job done. This way! And another thing! If this was a legit operation, why would everything be so goddamn secret? When we got here, we had no clue where we were going! Nick, Not the time! Damn it! Knew we couldn't shake it for long!
No more lies, Hoffman. The First Minister rejected my plan to deal with the Swarm. She said her damn robots could handle them. So I used my forced retirement to uh, launch a mission of my own. All this time, we were on a goddamn rogue operation? That's right. Look, I know your past, that you've all suffered and struggled, but you've still got that fight in you. Purpose. That's why we're here. It was our lives on the line. The fate of the entire planet is on the line, soldier. I'm not here to save the world. The swarm took my son. Dragged him, screaming into the dark. I failed to protect him. To fight for him. I joined up to make these fuckers pay. And I planned to die doing it. But here we are. So, to hell with it. I'll live. And I'll fight for what family I have left. I won't stand by and watch more people suffer. Not when I can do something about it. We know how to get to the heart of the hive. All I need is one sample. And you'll get it. But I won't let my brother face this one alone. Wish I could have been there for you, Mac. And your son. But I'm here now. Well, that's it then. Once more into the screaming dark. All right, Scorpio. This is it. Find the Makatu. Extract it, Fena. Get out. Remember, all we need is a sample. Good luck out there, Scorpio. You picked us for a reason, sir. We'll get the job done. You guys ready to walk amongst the ancestors? Hey, the spirit walk, right? So, you were listening. Of course I was. Right back to where it all began. Like my ancestors have done for generations. Enter the Fade and walk amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. There's our path. I'll be down. The Awakening. The Wakatu. I'm living out what my parents and grand used to believe was mythology, just stories. I was in prison when grand passed. Wish she could see me now. It's none of my business, but... It's okay. We're squad now. You both should know. I fucked up. Deliberately ignored an order. Thought I knew better than everyone else and someone got killed. I see you. A good man. Truth is, as much as I want to go back, I don't know if there's a spot waiting for me. I know that feeling. Sometimes there ain't no going back. And I'm learning that might be okay. My father used to carve pieces like this from wood. He said they would protect us from dark spirits. Being 
back in the action. Having a team at my side. I've missed this feeling of being part of something bigger. I know that feeling too. This way. Grab that side. <laughs> Your old job. Still, uh, classified? No. I can spill. I was part of the Brash Brigade. Locust cleanup crew. Cleanup crew? Some of the Locusts survived the war. We made them disappear. Quietly. So, the emulsion countermeasure at Azura. As far as the public knows, the war ended there. But there was still more work to be done. There should be another way around, through the ruins. We're clear! Well, those tubies have worn out their welcome. So, Corporal. Uh, so, Lieutenant. Never got the long story about your rank. Onyx God fought like hell in the war. What would hold up a promotion? Not all of us were fighting. I was stationed on Azura, doing basically guard duty. Onyx exiles, they call us. No glory, no rank, and no purpose. For all those years. I'm sorry, Keegan. I don't know about all this rank stuff, but what you're doing here, this matters, brother. Thanks. I, uh, appreciate that. Hey, help me out. Children used to walk this path. Well, there weren't any swarm back then. Aye, right. Let's get back to our path. Come on. <gasps> that tree there. It was on the carving in the village hall. It must be the Wakatu's nest. Then we're still on the right path. You know, before all this, I really thought my life was over. That I'd live out the rest of my days in prison. And so you joined up when Hoffman's crony found you, hmm? Exactly. Shh. Same here. What else can you do when you've lost everything? as we can from this wreck. Let's see about getting that loading ramp opened up. This is connected to that ramp, right? Not a problem. This will get the door open. One hell of a journey, that's for sure. 
I only got this far thanks to your support. I uh, gotta admit, I was wrong about you, Mac. We both were. Well, I had my assumptions about you two as well. Look at us now! Team Scorpio, saving the planet! <laughs> final words to me were about struggle. How my suffering would define the true line. The weak or the strong. I wanted to know which I'd be. She said, live and discover for yourself. That's the journey. I think I would have liked your crown. Doesn't matter how hard we tried to run from our past. Everything we did led us here. Led us to this island, a thousand miles from the war. This time I'm gonna make a goddamn difference. I thought this was my chance to prove myself. To the Brash Brigade, to the memory of my CO. My gran was right. The path of my life would determine who I am. They brought me home, here, and gave me a new family. That goes for all of us. You survived a hell of a lot to find home, Scorpio. I say we fight like hell to save it. Like this is it. Fear. The Bokatu wants to swarm off this island as much as we do. We should try to get the sample without killing it. Agreed. Be good to see the natural order restored. But he might have other plans.
Put up one hell of a fight. You, uh, think it'll live? Yeah, I do. It's a good day. Everyone survives. If I don't make it, I want you to know, it's your fault, and I'm gonna fucking haunt you. How's your nerves, Major Howe? Oh, to hell with my anxiety. This time, I'm the super.